like Jack Kerouac who used to puke down the alley and Ginsburg and all those people that used to come here and recite poetry and Jack Kerouac starved for 15 years and nobody gave a damn and they just watched him walking back and forth stoned out of his mind they didn't, they didn't care on Grant Avenue you had all the various coffee houses Cafe Trieste is the only one that survives to this day, but there were many of them in, the, in the, that day as well. And Grand Avenue basically became the living room of the Beats and the people that hung around the neighborhood. Trieste, I think I fall out of bed into this place. I can't help it. it just It's gravity that attracts me here. Good food, good people, good coffee. It's the neighborhood scene, never all my friends. You know what? It is the ignorance of the world that brings this place together. That's what it is, the ignorance of the world that brings us all together to drink coffee here and like bellyache at each other. And some people actually pay me to leave. They pay me to shut up. They say, hey, take some money. Get out of my face. Go away, please. I can't stand all this insanity, okay? I have a great life planned out for myself. I'm going to be famous. I'm going to be rich. I got stocks. I got brokers. I got attorneys. I don't need you. And so they literally would not live on the streets, but they spend their social time on the streets, similar to the way people do today at the Cafe Trias. You see them sitting around the coffee house all day long, outside, inside. And that's their community room, in essence. I'm Ricky, alias Genghis Fritzmeister, <laughs> alias Howls in the Wind, alias Kiss.